shot him a dry look. You want to try to get back into your house after the fact? Wellesley will stake you through the heart and leave you for the sun, my friend. Torment winced. Good point. And then she'll come looking for me. Both males shuddered. Besides, Darius leaned back as the waitress put their drinks down. He waited until she left, even though hardcore rap was pumping all around them. Besides, we're living in dangerous times. If something happens to me, I'll take care of her. Darius clapped his friend on the shoulder. I know you will. But wrath is better. There was no jealousy in the remark. It was a statement of fact. There's no one like him. And thank God for that, Torment said with a half-smile. Their band of brothers, a tight circle of strong-backed warriors who traded information and fought together, were of the same opinion. Wrath was off the chain when it came to the business of vengeance, and he hunted their enemies with a single-minded purpose that bordered on the insane. He was the last of his line, the only purebred vampire left on the planet, and though his race revered him as its king, he despised his status. It was almost tragic that he was the best bet Darius's half-breed daughter had of surviving. Wrath's blood, so strong, so untainted, would increase the chances of her getting through the transition if it hit her. But torment wasn't off the mark. It was like turning a virgin over to a thug. With a sudden rush, the crowd shifted, people backing into each other. They were making way for someone, or something. Shit, here he comes, Torment muttered. He tossed back his scotch, swallowing it whole. No offense, but I'm outie. This is not a conversation I need to be a part of. Darius watched the sea of humans split as they steered clear of an imposing dark shadow that towered over them. The flight response was a good survival reflex. Wrath was six feet six inches of pure terror, dressed in leather. His hair was long and black, falling straight from a widow's peak. Wraparound sunglasses hid eyes that no one had ever seen revealed. Shoulders were twice the size of most males. With a face that was both aristocratic and brutal, he looked like the king he was by birthright and the soldier he'd become by destiny. And that wave of menace rolling ahead of him was one hell of a calling card. As the cool hatred hit Darius, he tilted his fresh beer back and drank deeply. He hoped to God he was doing the right thing.